Hi, in this video we'll use fluid math to discover how to measure the distance between two points using the distance formula. So to get started we'll do a, a quick exercise um, which is to use a ruler to measure the distance between two points. So our task in this in this step is to manipulate the ruler and measure the distance between these two points. In fluid math you can select an object like the ruler by lassoing a corner of it. It'll become red like this. Um, so let's move this up here. And well the problem <coughs> we've got we've got the one in the ruler or the zero on one point, but we need to rotate the ruler. So if we move over this wid yellow widget we can rotate the ruler. And let's uh we'll have to rotate a little more. Uh, we'll get it up near these two points and get a rough measure for the distance between them. So this is zero at the first point and then uh, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a little over nine, somewhere between nine and nine and a half. So it says uh, write down your measurement. So let's just write nine point um, two five. Okay, so that's our guess for this. So moving on, let's go to the next tab. And we have these same same two points again. We go back. Here's the picture with the ruler, and we see it's 9.25 is our guess. So now we're on a new tab with the same two points in blue. Um, but we're going to try using the Pythagorean equation, the Pythagorean theorem, to measure this distance between the two points. So um, we have a triangle drawn here, a right triangle, that um, includes the two points as part of its vertices. And we have A, B, and C labeled for the sides. So let's we're going to assign a value to A and B, and then compute C. So A is going to be equal to, let's see, 1, I'm going to count this out. So this is on this corner. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units. And 1, 2, 3 units up. That's the length B. So we'll say B equals 3. And now we'll compute C. <clears throat> so if A squared plus B squared is C squared, we know that C is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, and let's compute c. In fluid math we can write the double arrow sign to compute a value. So, <clears throat> well this is good. You can see that our ruler estimate was pretty close. This says the answer is 9.48 approximately. Okay, but we haven't, we haven't well, this is um, this is good, but let's move on to the next tab, where we'll actually use the distance formula. So we're going to derive the distance formula. We want a formula where, given two points and their coordinate pairs, um, such as four comma three and thirteen comma six, um, given two points and their x y coordinates, we want to compute a distance. So what we've done here, we've taken the same same two points in blue here. I'm going back a tab to what the work we just did. If I click on the next one, you can see we have the same triangle, um, but I've I've added a coordinate axis axes here for x and y and an origin, which is here. And what we're going to do is just follow along these steps. So we want to discover the distance formula by substituting values for a and b and compute a measure for the distance between the two points using their x-y coordinates. So step one, what does that, that mean? Let's start with this first step. Write an equation for a in terms of the given points. So a is, is this distance between, um, is sort of, is the horizontal distance between the two points. So let's, we can figure that out if each one of these squares is one unit, we can see, and we already know that this point is four units to the right of the origin. And we know that the second point is 13 units to the right. So we have to write an expression for A in terms of the given points. So this distance between here and here for the length of this side A, 
um, it's going to be 13 minus 4. So let's write that down. A is equal to 13 minus 4. Okay, scroll down a little here. Let's do the same thing for B. We can see B is the length of this side of the triangle. This is what we were just doing, but now we're in a different coordinate space. Um, so the bottom of this is three units up from the horizontal axis. One, two, three. And we can tell that from the coordinate, the y value of this pair, um, coordinate pair two. Um, so b is going to be equal to, um, we need to start up here. And I'll explain this later, I think. But So six minus three. This, this height is six, and this this point is, is 3 along the y axis. So b is equal to 6 minus 3. Okay, so now we've written an expression for b in terms of the given points and a. So we'll scroll down a little more. And now it says write an expression for c in terms of the given points. Um, well, we know, let's just check this again. We know that c was equal to the square root of b squared plus a squared. And c, let's see what it's equal to, 9.487. That's the same as what we got on the last last tab here. And what's interesting is we've, we've, um, we're now using the, the coordinate values instead of just measuring out the lengths. So on this last tab, we just, we just counted out the, the distances here. But now we're doing the same thing in terms of the coordinate values. Okay? Um, so scroll down. So write an expression for C in terms of two arbitrary points x1, y1, and the other point x2, y2. Okay, so... We can see that B and A were equal to um, these equations that were where these numbers came from the coordinate pairs. So let's if this instead uh, was x1 comma y1 and this one was x2 comma y2 we could do what it's asking. We can instead of using these actual points 13 comma 4 and 6 comma 6 minus 3 we could have said a is equal to um, x2 minus x1 Okay, and b is equal to y2 minus y1. And let's get rid of this and this. Move this up. So if this is what c is equal to, b squared minus, um, square root of b squared plus a squared, we can substitute this a and b in. And then we'll be getting what it's asking for down here. We'll say c is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And um, if we this is saying c is equal to that because c was the hypotenuse of the triangle. But often it's written as d, as in distance, is equal to the square root of that. And this is the distance formula.